pro tip the day before Valentine's Day, if you ain't picked nothing up yet, come to the gas station, get, get your wifey this rock aware. Rock aware, uh, uh, wife beater. Yeah, ooh, yeah. Pro tip. <laughs> I love when YouTubers and people say that online. When they're gonna tell you something, like pro tip. So I'm gonna start doing that's my new thing. Everything is pro tip, pro tip, pro tip. Yes, you will talk to me later. I love you. All right, have a great day, babe. Peace. Thanks for calling Simply Mac in East Cobb, the greatest Apple partner in North America. If you'd like to know our hours or address, press one. If you have a question about a repair, you can now visit simplymac.com slash services or press two. If you would like to speak to someone about any other questions, press three. The party you are trying to reach is not available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Press the pound key to end recording. Last week I was out of town uh, traveling uh, to Columbia, Maryland uh, for work and, you know, had a really good time. But uh, prior to leaving, uh, as you all know, I dropped off my MacBook Air, which is my main uh, laptop or, or Mac that I use to one of the local uh, Mac authorized uh, repair shops. So I called them about two weeks ago and said, hey, you know, this is the problem I'm having with my screen and can you guys fix it? They said, you have to come in, we'll take a look at it. They looked at it, they said, we can't do it in shop. We have to actually send it out to Apple so they can fix it. But the good thing is that it's still on the warranty, so everything's good to go. Of course, while I'm in Maryland, they call me. And you know, it's one of those things, got a lot of calls. And you know, what was me? It's my fault. It's now Monday the day, the, the Monday after I return back from my trip, and I'm going through my messages. Well, one of the messages that I didn't think that I was going to get was a call from that repair shop saying, Hey, Mr. Schmoot, we looked at it and it's going to cost another $380. So I'm thinking to myself, well, how does something under warranty cost more money? Don't really know, but that is going to be part of today's vlog. Trying to figure out how warranty items still cost money. Let's see what's going on. Yes, this is Sean Smoot. I'm calling with... Uh service repair I think this is the right number zero zero four zero I was actually calling I, I got a message from you guys last week but I was out of town on business in regards to uh, my Mac so I'm just trying to or my airbook uh, or my MacBook Air so just give if you guys can give me a call back at nine five four seven nine eight have a great day Mac and they haven't returned uh, my call yet so I don't know what's going on with my MacBook Air but so be it so again back on the the regular uh, multiple airing grind day one of the things that I have to do which uh, you know with what I do in uh, technology and the companies that I, I work for you know it's again not making it braggadocious or not making it more than what it is but a lot of positions or companies that I work with or hold requires me to do a drug screening to just make sure I'm not on that stuff so <clears throat> that's what I'm gonna go do this uh, morning slash afternoon I have to go to uh, one of the screen locations and just do a quick test and I'm taking you guys with me because I think I'm here. As I said before, I have to actually do a screening for one of the contracts that I'll be on again to make sure that I'm not all drugged out. So, uh, put 
put this camera down and actually figure out where I am because I don't, I mean, I think I'm in the right office park, but I don't know where this testing facility is. So I'll uh, be right back. All right, well, went to uh, the screening and some paperwork or something got messed up. So they're uh, figuring out what they need to do. They're supposed to be fixing. So while they do that, I need to pick up, get some gas anyway, and I'm gonna run in here to the food mart and try to, uh, get some of the snack on and they said hopefully it might take them about 20 to 30 minutes and once they have it fixed I can go back so that's gone Valentine's Day, if you ain't picked nothing up yet, come to the gas station, get, get your wifey this rock aware. Copy this rock aware, uh, uh, white beater. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. Pro tip. <laughs> I love when YouTubers and people say that online. I'm only gonna tell you something. Like, pro tip. So I'm gonna start doing that's my new thing. Everything is pro tip. Okay. I got the email that they have whatever they had messed up in the system corrected. So now I'm heading back over to the screening location. Let's see, we're looking for 30, 50, 30, 50, 30, 50. Finally found the location, so didn't study for this test, so you know we'll see how it goes. Ah, <laughs> uh, crack myself up. You don't have to laugh because I'm laughing. You don't have to laugh because I'm laughing. Please, you know this is fancy. Ooh, drug and lab testing by appointment only. I have an appointment. Yes, I can. <laughs> Thank you. Nicest screening location I've ever been in. Soft, sophisticated. Let's see the selection of magazines that we have. Well, that's that. Just finished uh, doing my screening at what I perceive to be the nicest screening facility that I've ever been to Muslim. but nope done uh it is da -da -da -da. wow 146 days are going by fast because i gotta check a few emails and send out a few emails then i gotta check my schedule I, I know there's a few things that i'm forgetting well i just finished editing uh this daily vlog and there was a lot of different t twists and turns that the the day went into and nothing like dramatic or crazy i'm not building up to anything I just had to uh, go pick up uh, one of my other daughters that I didn't think I had to pick up and I had to drop her off to pick up something for an upcoming trip. So it kind of got all debacled. So I went to, you know, with all the editing, there was no way to put a nice little bow on it. So I decided to do it this way. Uh, left the screening, uh, went and did some pickups and 
the beginning objective of the day, I'll mark it as a big failure check because I still don't know what happened or what's going on with my MacBook Air. Thank you.